Okay, so now that I've hyped up the power of data visualization, it's time to put my money where my mouth is with a little test. In a few moments, I'm going to show you some data on the screen with a 10 second timer. And at the end of those 10 seconds, I want you to pause the video and tell me what you were able to learn from the data. Ready? Go. Time's up. How'd you do? You may have noticed that we're looking at four separate products and their sales across 12 consecutive months. And if you really concentrated, then you may have noticed some patterns and trends here or there. Overall though, I think you'll agree that 10 seconds really isn't enough time to fully understand this data. Which makes sense because as you now know, our brain isn't built to interpret raw data. But what if we visualize it? So let's do that. I'm going to give you another 10 seconds and let's see if we can understand the data better this time. Ready? Go. All right, how was it now? Much easier, right? In 10 seconds, not only are we able to tell that we're looking at sales for four different products, but we can identify very clear patterns and trends in each one, which is incredible and it really goes to show just how effective data visualization can be. Now, in case you were curious, this is actually our own variation of Anscombe's Quartet, where even though each product has the same exact sales average, believe it or not, they all tell a very different visual story. So what can we learn from all this? Well, A, that data visualization really does allow us to bring data to life, and B, that the 10 second rule is a great benchmark to check if we are communicating something effectively with data.